I was in a UK shop called TK Maxx and I noticed they had some novel power banks in. And although they claim to be the 2.2 amp hour style power banks, they're a lot shorter physically than the typical uh, 2.2 amp hour power bank. So um, I bought a couple. And they're quite neat. Uh, I was wondering to see, have they used a different cell or have they just squeezed this cell in, you know, they really have, you know, it's really close to the size of the cell itself, particularly this one. And you can see the, the back's quite deep, so it's very clear that they have really squeezed it down to fit a cell in the back here. But anyway, uh, the first one has a little sliding cover, which is a nice feature. And it's just a generic power bank with the charging and the well, the, the power bank charging port and the output to the USB device you're charging. And the other one has the sort of electronics in the, the end here, and it's got a little flashlight that if you hold the button for quite a surprising length of time, it lights up, and then hold it a surprising length of time, it goes out again. And it's also got the active electronics that shows the sort of state of the battery charge. So um, let's uh, open them and, uh, and see what's inside. See if I can do this without actually splitting plastic. They all seem to have a very common system of these little plastic clips. Am I going to, to pull that out? Or push it out even? Oh, there it goes. Oh, squeaky. Oh, there we go. That's quite a neat design. They've put one, one socket on one side of the circuit board and the other on the other. With the little uh, converter and probably the fairly generic little uh, booster chip that's commonly used. It's, uh, there it is, let's uh, take a wee look. I do see some extra components there that suggest it may have uh, not the standard chip actually, so let's take a wee look at that. See which one it's using. It's using 4056ES and then underneath it says B1435. Oh. I'm guessing 4056 ES is the important bit there. And the little packages at the side look like little MOSFETI type packages. DW01 and 8205A. I'll have a look at them and see what they are. So that's uh, interesting, it's quite neat. I like this uh, sliding cover, this dust cover. So let's uh, take a look at the other pack. This is this uh, rubbery textured plastic that uh, just says no to screwdrivers, because uh, let's see if I can not leave big chewy marks in it. Oh, it doesn't matter, I've got it taped to bits anyway. Ooh, I'm leaving slightly chewy marks in it. Oh, it's one of these ones that unclips and taunts you and then it clips itself back together again. Let's see if I can ram that through the battery. Okay. Righto, oh, it's fairly uncluttered inside. It's kind of reminiscent of the circuit board that was in this one. Hmm. If I remember that one didn't have the chip marked. This one does have the chip marked. Let's see what that is. It's actually a wee bit recessed, so it's actually it may not be able to focus on this. Oh, and now the thing has the Magnifying glasses and the microscope has just gone right down into it, so it's a uh, no, that's proving quite. Uh, can I lift this out? Is it stuck in? I 
think it may be adhered in. Oh, the screws. Oh, let's take the screws out. This is the absolutely wrong screwdriver to use for this. Uh, this is also the wrong screwdriver, but I'm going to use it anyway, because to be honest, sometimes a wee flat blade works better in these uh, tiny little crosshead screws. And there it comes. That's better. So yes, well let's press the button now and see the LEDs, are those flickeries the other one? No, they're not. Uh, it seems to refresh at a very high rate. Okay. So let's see, I can see that chip now. It's a 38P1EEAG3. Oh, and underneath it says LM324. Really? An LM324? Isn't that a quad off amp? It could be used to drive the bar graph. That would be very simple. And that means that there's this little 8-pin little chip here could be a... Well, that's a little um, controller chip, isn't it, for that the pack? It's got multiple uh, transistors and six-pin packages all over it. It's quite a complex little pack in a way, but I'm really surprised about that. Uh, possibly just being a, you know, used as a voltage threshold detector. So let's see what the little chip is. The little chip is a 4056ES. Underneath it says B1432D. I think the relevant bit is 4056ES. Isn't that rough? Isn't that what was in... Yes, it is. It's the same chip as in that. So that must just be the general sort of um, booster chip. And that's quite interesting. They're quite smart little packs, just because they're neat and chunky. I just kind of like them because they're a different shape from the other, but really surprised that it's just basically, it's not using a dedicated chip. It looks like it is just using an LM324 um, as a potential divider to actually drive the LEDs. That's quite neat.